Thank you for the Human on Wine of this opportunity to express myself and give my little contribution about what I think it is going on with this COVID-19 in the wine business. Again, my name is Nicola Biscardo. My family has been making wine for four generations now here in Valpolicella in Verona. More than that, in 1987, uh, my father established an American importing company to bring small boutique family-owned winery like us into the United States without the need of an importer. So basically, we opened the concept of be the importer of ourselves. We started in just six wineries back in 87. And then slowly but surely, we are now 35 wineries in the group. The name of the company was called Con Export. Still called Con Export here in Italy, but now is known in the United States as the Nicola Biscardo Selection because I'm more of the frontman of the company and to deliver the message that we are family owned oriented with sustainable farming and estate growing wine. We thought that the name of a person instead of a name of an entity, an abstract entity, was a much better message to deliver to our customer. Well, I don't have one job, I have multiple aspects because I follow every single step in the entire perspective, meaning I'm taking care of production and selection for our own brand Marchese Biscardo here in Valpolicella. So everything involved with the uh, producing wine and marketing of my specific winery, my specific brand. I also mainly oversee of the Nicola Biscardo selection in terms of American importer. So I select new wineries. I always try, try to stay updated of what is going on in the wine business, but also I do um, direct marketing in the United States. Well, the, my work changed dramatically. Uh, I am regularly on the road between six to eight months every year since 1996, when I first took my luggage and I went to the US. And uh, everything has changed. I'm not traveling. I'm here. I'm stuck in this room and there is nothing more than I can do that be involved into social medias. So the activity on the social media is really massive, is 90% of my time. Uh, everything has changed. I keep doing my seminars. I keep doing my um, wine show, but I'm doing it in front of a camera. In the United States, I'm known as the Italian wine ambassador because after 22 years of walking around doing public events, they call me the Italian wine ambassador. And, uh, and now I am the virtual Italian wine ambassador. Um, I, we implemented a number of uh, webinars. Uh, I'm going live uh, three times a week at least now. Uh, with the challenge of the uh, time uh, zone changes. So basically, I'm in front of a camera every night between 12 to between midnight to uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. This is in conjunction with my wholesalers and uh, the, the retailers. Um, the retailers, this is just to support wholesalers and retailers. Customer buys the wine, so I'm supporting my retail and restaurants, trying to help them to make a living. Customer buy the wine, take the wine at home, they connect it to my webinars, and we go live and talking about the wine, describing the wine, describing the reason, the region, describing the, the great varietal and the characteristic of each wine. Trying to keep some, uh, to bring some, some joy um, to the people that are locked at home. Uh, wine is convivial. Wine means gathering and gathering is not possible. So we're trying to gather people and bring joy and make it fun and to share the love through the emotion that only wine can actually spread. I have to be fair and honest with you. I think we are in a very bad situation. Um, the mantra in Italy has always been, andrà tutto bene, it will all be fine. 
Uh, well, no, it's not going to be fine. Uh, it's not going to be easy. And, uh, and, and, I, and I'm actually shocked that nobody is being really upfront and in saying this. It's not going to be fine. Um, the wine industry, it was extremely difficult before, before because it is an overly crowded industry, uh, offer supersede demand. So it's always been extremely difficult for a winery to establish themselves, for a wholesaler to find his niche in the market. Now with the COVID, it's nearly impossible. We are going to see a lot of winery going out of business. We are going to see a lot of wholesaler going out of business. We are going to see a lot of restaurants going out of business. We are going to see a lot of retailers going out of business, which means less market available for the winery, which means even more difficult. The war is getting harder. The challenge is getting tougher and there is no way out. Yes, as I said, my job is all online right now. I cannot travel, I cannot spread the love, so it's all about social media. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube channel. Um, we changed already um, our marketing strategy. Um, I have my YouTube channel, Nicola Biscardo Selection, YouTube channel where we talk about wine. We are implementing that, we're going even stronger in that we are advertising that even stronger. Um, Instagram, live on Instagram, Facebook, live on Facebook, but also before was just a way to publicize. It was a window to show what I was doing actively in the market. Now it's not more showing what I'm actively doing in the market because I cannot be in the market. It's actually becoming the prime source of communication. Well, I think that the main challenge is survival. If we are not going back to normality, if we are not going back to reality, it is going to be very difficult. I have been talking with all 35 of my wineries and uh, the sense of unknown, I think, is the biggest challenge because we do not know what is going to happen. We do not know what will be the next role. We do not know if they're gonna let us free. Um, lockdown in Italy is over, but rules and regulation for retail and mainly for restaurants are making business almost impossible. We already know that many restaurants will not reopen. Everybody are looking around and see how things are changing. And the biggest challenge is for high-end cuisine. High-end cuisine is facing a deadly period right now. Their cost, their cost of operation, they cannot withstand the limitation of customer that the govern is imposing to them. What does this mean? It means that high-end cuisine is going to disappear. And opening the door for even more um, corporated restaurants, which is lowering the quality of the food, lowering the service, increasing the junk food around the world. And the four taking away customer for small boutique wineries that are dedicating their life to quality, to sustainable farming, to uh, healthy products, healthy and emotional product. A lot of my uh, wineries are already telling me um, we, are, we cannot invest too much in marketing, in social media, in advertisement, because we are really concerned about money. We have to be very wise in where we spend the money, which is exactly the opposite 
of what we should do. Now more than ever, this is important. Talking with cameras is important. Advertising is extremely important. Retail is up 200%. Yes, of course, but who is actually selling wine? Which sales are up 200, up to 400%? Big brands, commercial wineries, wineries that have the money to spend on their brands. They have money to hold on and wait for money to come back in. Same thing into restaurants. Big chain that will grow, small boutique, high-end, five-star restaurants will go down, less room for boutique wines. So the big brands will find their space, the small guys, I don't know, I really don't know. So what I perceive as the future, I'm really hoping that the uh, governs, not just our government, but the governs around the world will be doing an act of um, courage and say, guys, we were wrong. Uh, we didn't know what this was all about. Now we know. Now people can go out. People can uh, go back to normality and they will let us do what we're doing. Think about the summer we're going to face. Um, limitation on the beach. Yes, we can go on the beach, but distancing. Limitation of how many people can gather. No more clubbing, no more discotheque, no more gathering in bars and restaurants, which means no more aperitivo, which for Italians is a religion. Think about Prosecco, 450 million bottles production and no more aperitivo, no more clubbing, no more restaurants, no more at the scale we were used to. What does that mean? Who's gonna drink all this wine? Three months from now, new harvest. The winery are full of wine and they're facing an harvest. Harvest means money spent in the vineyard for one full year to collect a beautiful grape that you're not gonna need. So, Price of wine is tanking. Price of producing the wine is growing. Customers, number of customers are lowering. Am I facing good time? No. Am I positive? I want to be positive. I must stay positive. But I'm telling you, it's not going to be fine. And somebody needs to have the courage to speak up and say it. So, I hope it didn't scare too many people, but we will uh, uh, pass through this. We will go through it. It is going to be difficult. Uh, we, more than anything, we need rules to change. We need to go back to reality. We need to go back to normality as fast as possible. I. Thank you again for the Humans of Wine for this great opportunity. I will always be your Italian wine ambassador. I will always be live. I will jump on the plane as soon as they let me do it. I will spread the love of wine. Let us do so. Let us do it. And together, we will get through. Ciao.